guys, it's Janelle. Welcome to my channel. Today we are making strawberry rhubarb pie. This recipe is vegan, of course, but it's also gluten-free. The pie crust is made from almond flour, which makes it so buttery and flaky. Mm, it's so good. And all the other ingredients in this recipe are easy to find and affordable and very delicious. We've got strawberries and rhubarb, which are in season right now, late spring, early summer. Seriously, if you haven't ever made yourself a strawberry rhubarb pie, make this. It's so easy, requires a little bit of time and a little bit of patience, but I promise you it is so worth it in the end. All right, without further ado, let's make some pie. For the pie crust, you'll need to make two batches, one for the top and bottom each. The ingredients you'll need for each batch are two flax eggs, one and a quarter cup of almond flour, three quarter cups of brown rice flour, two tablespoons of coconut sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, three quarter teaspoon of sea salt, three tablespoons of avocado or grapeseed oil, and two tablespoons of agave nectar. To a large mixing bowl, add the brown rice flour, almond flour, coconut sugar, baking powder, and salt, and whisk until the mixture is well combined with no lumps. Then add the agave nectar and grapeseed or avocado oil to the bowl and mix well with a spatula until the mixture has become crumbly like sand. Add the flax eggs to the mixture and continue mixing it until it starts holding shape and forming a dough. At this point, you can take over with your hands and knead the dough until it comes together into a ball form. Gluten-free dough needs to be worked much more than regular dough to help it stay together better. Wrap the dough in cling wrap and let it chill in the fridge for one hour. Place the chilled dough in between two layers of parchment paper and begin to gently press it into your hands before starting to roll it out with a rolling pin. Roll the dough into a roughly nine inch circle that's about a quarter inch in thickness. Peel back the top layer of parchment paper and carefully slide a thin cutting mat underneath the bottom layer, if you have one. Place your pie plate on top of the dough upside down and carefully flip the crust over into the pan. That cutting mat is really handy here for this reason. Carefully press the dough into the pie plate using both hands, ensuring that it forms nicely into the bottom and sides of the plate. Trim off any overhanging dough with a sharp, small knife, and from there, pop it in your freezer for 30 minutes to chill. In the meantime, you can get started on prepping your pie filling ingredients. For the pie filling, you'll need about one and a half pints of fresh strawberries, or 18 ounces, two large stalks of rhubarb, two third of a cup of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half tablespoons of tapioca or arrowroot flour, and a generous pinch of sea salt. Wash and cube your strawberries and rhubarb into half inch to one inch chunks and set aside for just a moment. Once your pie crust has chilled, poke a few holes in the base with a fork and pre-bake in your oven on the middle rack at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes until golden. Back to the filling. Grab yourself a large pot and add in the maple syrup, vanilla extract, and tapioca or arrowroot starch and whisk all of the ingredients until they're well combined and the flour has mostly dissolved. Add those chopped strawberries and the rhubarb and combine with a large spoon until the fruit is totally coated. Heat the mixture on medium high heat until bubbling and cook for 12 to 15 minutes until the fruit is softened and the mixture is slightly runny. Let that cool down for about five to 10 minutes just to allow it to thicken a little bit. Once that pie crust has pre-baked, ladle the fruit mixture into the pie crust until it's about half an inch below the rim. You don't wanna overfill as it could leak out quite a bit when it goes back in the oven. Now, take your second sheet of dough and carefully place it over the pie. I find draping it over a rolling pin makes it a little easier to do, plus it reduces the risk of it cracking or ripping. Trim off any excess dough around the edges and with a fork, simply press the edges into the bottom crust as shown here and with a sharp knife, make a few slits in the top to allow steam to escape while it's baking. Bake for another 30 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit or until the crust is golden. Ta-da! Doesn't this look amazing? I'm seriously in love with how this pie turned out. The crust is tender and buttery thanks to that almond flour, and the strawberry rhubarb filling is perfectly sweet and fresh. So perfect for a summer treat. I really hope you guys enjoy! 
And there you have it. Now you know how to make your own vegan and gluten-free strawberry rhubarb pie. I hope your mouth is watering and you are running to your kitchen to make this. This pie would also be delicious with apple and rhubarb or strawberry and apple. Basically just play around with it. Rhubarb goes deliciously with so many other fruits. So a blueberry and rhubarb, also known as a blueberry pie, is fabulous. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have so many more recipes in the pipeline coming to the channel very soon and I would hate for you guys to miss out on anything awesome. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching you guys and I will see you in a future recipe video. Bye!